Hello gamers and welcome to another Tower of Fantasy video. In this video I will teach you all there is to know about the new Ida Cafe event. Before I start I would like to ask you that if you end up finding this video helpful to consider helping the channel out by leaving a like and subscribing. Back to the topic. For this event you will have to serve food to free customers every day and based on their satisfaction with what you serve them, you'll obtain satisfaction points. At certain milestones, you'll get rewards. This event will last 14 days, so you'll have plenty of time to get all the rewards. So let's get the rewards out of the way. They are 5 red nuclei, 1 special voucher, 1 title, 1 avatar frame, 1 chat frame, 10 SSR relic shards, 6 joint supply chips, a bunch of upgrade materials, a few simulacrum gift boxes and some gold. Now that you are aware what we are working towards, let's find out how we get these rewards. To obtain most satisfaction points from customers, you will have to follow 3 steps. Obtain materials, craft food, and feed the customer. We'll go over each step, so after this you will have all the necessary information to breeze through this event. I will assume that you already have a bunch of basic materials, but if you find that you are missing any of the basic ingredients for the recipes required in this event, I will link an interactive map in the description of the video. You will just have to select the ingredients you want, and it will highlight the location where you can collect them from. But this map will not contain the limited materials, so we will go over how to obtain them. The first limited ingredient is apples. And to get apples, all you have to do is collect fallen fruit. These fallen fruits are commonly found in banjis, but you will find some of them in Astra too. The second limited ingredient is wild boar meat. All you have to do is kill the wild boars to obtain it. The boars will be most commonly found in Astra. The third ingredient is turkey. This will be obtained by killing any hyenas around the map. The location doesn't matter much as they are all over the map, but there is a large concentration of them in crown mines. The fourth ingredient is sesame. Similar to apples, you will be able to obtain sesame by collecting brown rice, and there seems to be an unending supply on Raincolor Island. The fifth ingredient is sugar cubes, and they can be obtained by killing any heirs of Ida NPCs. Similar to the hyenas, the location doesn't matter much, but there is a lot of them in north of Banjisport and in Warren. The sixth ingredient is grapes, and they will be dropped by ravagers. You will find plenty of ravagers on Raincolor Island. The last ingredient is salmon, and this is probably the hardest one to get, as it can be obtained by capturing lake bass. At the moment I believe the late bass might be bugged as I managed to collect 10 of them and none of them dropped me a piece of salmon. But maybe I'm just unlucky. You will be able to find a decent amount of sea bass in the waters north of Warren. To make collecting these fish easier you can use Meryl's Simulacrum trait if you have it fully upgraded to 4k as it will freeze the water under your feet or you can use the jetboard relic on the lowest speed. If you however would prefer to skip the sea bass hunt, you can just kill Sobek as he will drop 6 pieces of salmon every time you kill him. Maybe you already noticed, but more than one ingredient will be found in the same places, so you can collect them at the same time. Let's say you go to Raincolor Island to collect some sesame. You can also take a bit of time to kill some ravagers and get some grapes at the same time. Alright, so now that we know how to obtain all the limited materials, let's see what we can do with them. First of all, you will notice that if you press on the limited menu in the event interface, you are missing 5 recipes. So let's unlock them before we move to the next step. To unlock recipes, we will go to a cooking bot and select the creation option. The first recipe we will unlock will be braised turkey with apples. You will need 4 ingredients for this recipe, 1 turkey, 1 apple, and the last 2 ingredients will be potato and broccoli. To have a 100% chance of unlocking the recipe, you will need to use 15 ingredients in total. Since potatoes are much easier to come by, I chose to use 12 potatoes and 1 broccoli. The second recipe we will unlock is apple cake. You will need 4 ingredients for this recipe one apple, one grape, and the next two ingredients are brown rice and poultry egg. Similar to the previous recipe, I chose to use 12 poultry eggs. 
because they are much easier to obtain. The third recipe we will unlock is pan fried salmon. You will need three ingredients for this recipe. One salmon, one honey and 13 lettuce. If you feel like you have more honey than lettuce, you can use 13 honey and one lettuce. Just keep in mind the sum of all ingredients must be 15 to have a 100% chance of unlocking the recipe. The fourth recipe we will unlock is turkey beetroot soup. You will need three ingredients for this recipe. One turkey, one potato and 13 mushrooms. Again, if you feel like you have more potatoes than mushrooms, you can change the quantities around. And the final recipe we will unlock is apple juice. You will need three ingredients for this recipe. One apple, one sugar cube and 13 carbonated water. After all this, you should have all recipes unlocked and this brings us to the last step of the event, feeding the customers. I will walk you through what each customer prefers and I will display on the screen the materials required to craft these foods. Bailing will prefer fried rice, fiddlehead pie, small sesame rice dumplings, gingerbread and nut tea. Claudia will prefer roast suckling pig, roasted drumsticks with veggies, sea crab soup, apple cake and honeyed fruit juice. Cocorita would like golden eggs and tomato, simple power salad, fiddlehead soup, chocolate bread and apple juice. Crow would prefer spicy eel, pan-fried salmon, seafood soup, caviar potato balls and nutty. Echo would like sizzling meat, crispy grilled fish, breakfast cereals, caviar potato balls and apple juice. Anna would like braised turkey with apples, roasted drumsticks with veggies, small sesame rice dumplings, apple cake and cocoa milk. Hilda would prefer fried chicken, pan-fried salmon, small sesame rice dumplings, caviar potato balls and honeyed fruit juice. Huma will prefer caterpillar fungus noodles, lettuce salad, snow lotus soup, purple yam pie and snow azalea tea. King would like roast suckling pig, roasted drumsticks with veggies, turkey beetroot soup, apple cake and fruit punch. Meryl would like steamed crab, boiled scallops, small sesame rice dumplings, fruit cake and nut tea. Pepper would prefer braised turkey with apples, roasted drumsticks with veggies, breakfast cereal, fruit cake and nut tea. Samir would like roast suckling pig, roasted drumsticks with veggies, sea crab soup, gingerbread and fruit punch. Shiro would prefer steamed crab, pan-fried salmon, steamed eggs with sea urchin, caviar potato balls and nut tea. Tsubasa would like roast suckling pig, barnacle stew, turkey beetroot soup, chocolate bread and fruit punch. Zero would like fried chicken, roasted drumsticks with veggies, turkey beetroot soup, apple cake and iced strawberry soda. That is the list of potential customers and the food that work best for them according to the Chinese players. If you find that you are missing any of the recipes, you will have to follow the same process we followed for unlocking the limited recipes. That means that you will have to use the creation and put one of the rare ingredients and 12, 13 of the ingredients you have plenty of. Once you have unlocked them, you can craft them from cooking instead of having to use creation. Now, hopefully you have all the tools required to finish the event. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one, adventurers!